There are several factors that influence uh, the way in which uh, a wave of water moves through a channel downstream, both natural and human-induced. Uh, the first being how much water is actually moving downstream. Usually larger accumulations of water will move more quickly than smaller volumes of water. The second most important factor is how wet the channel already is. If you've had multiple rainfall events in a single location and the channel has already flushed multiple waves of water through, then there generally is less uh, absorption of water by the channel banks and the channel bed, and so more of the wave of water can remain intact and move more fluidly downstream. Beyond those two factors, uh, the channel itself will uh, resist the flow of water, so you have numerous elements in the channel like rocks and vegetation, bridge pilings, even the shape of the channel itself can all act to slow the downstream movement of that wave of water. And of course, the ultimate in inhibition to uh, flow would be reservoirs, which are naturally designed to capture water. Behind.